Researchers discover early human species smaller than the Hobbit. Ancient remains of an old human species have been discovered in the depths of a cave in a Philippine island, and they were even smaller than the so-called Hobbit. After years of searching, scientists were able to collect bones and teeth of this ancient species. After researchers found a toe bone over 67,000 years old in 2007 in the Luzon's Kalo Cave, they began to schedule follow-up excavations which were carried out in 2011 and 2015. In the end, they unearthed 13 fossil bones and teeth belonging to two distinct adults as well as one child. The remains include seven teeth, a thigh bone, three foot bones, and two hand bones. One of the fossils was 50,000 years old, indicating that the newly discovered species H. luzonesis was alive at the same time as many other human lineages, including Denosovans, Neanderthals, H. sapiens, and H. floreniensis the only other type of dwarf human on record. The newly discovered species is named Homo luzenesis after the island of Luzon, where the intriguing beings were discovered, and where they lived during the late Pleistocene era, over 50,000 years ago. At under 1.2 meters, or 4 feet tall, the H. luzonesis is short like a hobbit, but also shares other features with a number of different human relatives. It is characterized by notable curved foot and finger bones, similarly to the Australopithecus, the species from which the famous Lucy hails. The premolars also contain similar characteristics to the Australopithecus, Homo habilis, and Homo erectus, and the small molars are very similar to those of modern humans, that is to say, Homo sapiens. Study lead researcher Florent Detroit, a paleoanthropologist at the National Museum of Natural History in Paris, commented on the discovery. These fossil elements show a combination of morphological features which are not seen in other species of the genus Homo, thus indicating a new species. We named Homo luzonesis. It's difficult to say what H. luzonesis looked like because it is very difficult to tell from the elements we have, given that the teeth are very small, even smaller than those of H. florinesis, it's likely that the newfound species was small-bodied. There are many other mysteries yet unsolved, including where this new species fits into the human family tree as we know it, and how these small human relatives were able to reach Luzon, an island which had had no land connections for over 2.6 million years. This previously unknown species serves to highlight the evolutionary complexity of our human ancestors and the path they took to lead us to where we are today.